Kyle Larson is a NASCAR Cup Series champion. He's undeniably one of the best race car drivers on the planet. His ability to achieve success in anything he races confirms that on an almost weekly basis. His skill is respected amongst his peers. His voice should matter. This week, during an appearance on the Dale Jr. Download, the Hendrick Motorsports driver shared that voice and didn't sugarcoat his thoughts on the current hot topic of conversation following the race in Phoenix and the first look at the new short track rules package, adding horsepower to the cars. Coincidentally, his remarks came just hours after a top NASCAR official made the exact claim that Larson was calling out for being an excuse that the sanctioning body has used in the past. Adding horsepower. It's the popular phrase these days. Heck, these years. The topic is nothing new. But with short tracks struggling since the introduction of the next-gen car in 2022, the voices for change and specifically adding horsepower have grown louder. Denny Hamlin has talked about it numerous times on his Actions Detrimental podcast, including the latest episode after Phoenix. So did Kevin Harvick on his Happy Hour podcast, which was interesting because the 2014 champ, who's been known to take his shots at NASCAR, see Darlington 2022, didn't mince words. I still think it's got to have more than a thousand horsepower. I, I just don't understand. The engine, the engine cost hasn't changed since we changed the engine rules. I don't understand why we just don't want them to blow the back tires off the car. Harvick's remarks are what many drivers and fans have said for a while now, that taking a big swing at a change would be the best approach and achieve resolution more quickly versus the small incremental approach NASCAR has repeatedly taken in the past with a tire compound change here and a spoiler change there. And the reason for such small swings? Harvick said he doesn't understand why they don't want to blow the back tires off the car. He says that like he genuinely doesn't know the reason why. Clearly, he hasn't been paying attention like Kyle Larson. The HMS driver visited with Dell Jr. on the Dell Jr. download in a week-delayed race winner's interview following his victory at Las Vegas. Of course, they talked about his win, but unsurprisingly, the most recent race at Phoenix was top of mind, and specifically, the thought of adding horsepower. The test, it, you know, try it out. I feel like they've always used the excuse of, or at least I've heard the excuse of, well, we're trying to keep horsepower to where other manufacturers might want to come in. Well, as long as I've been in the sport, which is longer than 10 years, it's been the same three manufacturers. Larson's right. Their excuses, and that's what NASCAR has done in the past and the present. Unbelievably, that's also what NASCAR, and specifically, Cup Series Managing Director Brad Moran had to say just hours earlier during an appearance on Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. We have to have all three manufacturers obviously on board. Um, as soon as you open that up, there's, you know, there's going to be development, there's going to be reliability issues, and all of these, you know, again, putting that cost back into the engine, uh, engine builder's uh, you know, into the engine builders category, where they certainly will develop and, and you know, and start, start developing the engine. As soon as you open any horsepower up, they're automatically going to do that. They're the best at it, and that's what they, that's what they do. And, uh, you know, and the, the number we're at seems to be where we want to be to try to, you know, get uh, potentially uh, new manufacturers interested. And if we start getting away from that number, it can, it can create problems in that area. Now, to be fair, there have been rumors recently that Honda might be considering a move to NASCAR in as early as 2026. NASCAR president Steve Phelps talked about it earlier this year. There very well could be a new OEM coming into the sport and increasing horsepower isn't possible for them, which doesn't seem plausible, but maybe it is the cause for NASCAR's unwillingness to bump it up. At a minimum, the new rumors are at least putting off the discussion of adding it until 2026 at the earliest. With that as the backdrop, it's easy to understand why Larson, the other drivers, and fans are frustrated with the repeated excuses from NASCAR on why horsepower can't be increased. What NASCAR should realize after all these years is even though top officials might dance around the subject and continue kicking the can down the road, 
they can rest assured the interest and more importantly, the conversation about increased horsepower won't be going away anytime soon.